Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Welcome, Carlos. Welcome, Marta. Welcome, Maria. How are you all today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm great. Good. It was a good day. Nice, nice. It's good to hear that. How about you, Carlos? How are you? Maria, how are you, Maria? Excited. Oh, okay, good. So welcome, yeah. welcome, Jason, welcome, Eric, welcome, welcome. All right, um, today we are going to thank you. I want to say thank you for joining to the last class of this module. Yay! Aren't you happy? <laughs> yes, yes or no? Yes and no. <laughs> Oh, yes, I know. Okay, um, déjeme ver. Creo que sus compañeros se van a unir. I hope they are going to join us in a moment. Pero eh, me quiero consultar algo. Ya terminaron sus, todas sus actividades, ¿verdad? Incluyendo el examen final. ¿Sí o no? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Ok, Carlos, ¿ya terminaste tu examen? Eric, ¿también? Yes, I finished. Ok, good. Ok, porque eh, tiene hasta... I have reported some inconvenience that I have with my final exam because oh, I eh. couldn't play uh, the, the, the uh, listening uh, audio. Ok, uh, did, they, did they get back to you or they didn't get back to you? I didn't receive any answer. Ok, uh, pero ya contestó todo. ¿Cómo, cómo hizo ahí? Sí. Yes. Ok, ok. Uh, I mean, I have my 80%. Oh, ok, ok. That's, that's ok then. ¿Qué es? Porque necesitan que el 80% para poder eh, pasar el curso, el, el módulo. Yes, ok. Ok. All right. Um, sí, eh, Borja creo que ya, ya terminó su examen además dice que ya tenía el certificado Ajá. Uh -huh. yeah, one week ago ah oh, ok Mar uh, Marta I hope uh, you you finished everything right and Ada yes I finished ok you too and Ada yes teacher two weeks okay. ago oh, I, I have the same uh -huh. wow two weeks ago wow and by the way, Aneida, yes. what are you eating, Aneida? Share, share with us what you're eating. <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> nothing, you're like, yes, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, um, the other thing is, el próximo módulo va a comenzar el día 21 de febrero, si no me equivoco. Let me check the, the calendar. Yes. El 21 de febrero comenzará el módulo número 2, así que van a tener un periodo de inscripción al módulo número 2 entre el 11 al 14 o al 17 de febrero. Así que por favor, van a tener esos días para que ustedes puedan inscribirse al módulo número 2. Ok, don't forget that, please. Ok. Yo ya mandé los papeles, teacher, pero right. no me han confirmado de entregado. Okay, no worries because they have, uh, well, they are getting a lot of uh, documents, but they receive it. So probably they haven't, uh, they haven't responded you back, and, but it's because they have a lot of, uh, a lot of people who are applying. That's why, but no worries. Your paper is in the, in the mail. Okay. Borja, you too, right? I saw that you were fighting there in the chat. I don't know. You were fighting against somebody there. <laughs> I don't know what happened over there, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, all right. So, Marta, yo espero que continúe. Carlos también. Eh, María también, yo espero que continúen. Así que tienen estos días para enviar sus uh, papeles si no los han enviado. Okay. 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 Uh, let, me, uh, let me share with you my presentation to. Um, 
to see what we're going to be doing today. Okay, uh, today, as you know, today is the last day of this module. That means that today we are going to be reviewing. What are we going to be reviewing? We are going to be reviewing the future, right? You know that we have learned a lot of a lot of um, sentences and time expressions that we can use um, in our sentences to express the future, right? Okay, so this is the agenda. We're gonna have a warm up activity. Then we're gonna be an activity to review the future, and then we're gonna have a practice activity. What's the objective for today's class? The student will be able to review the different tenses to express the future through a set of activities. All right, to, to start up, can you tell me what's the difference or when can I use the present simple for future and the present continue for future uh, meaning? Who can tell me that? What's the difference? Or well, the difference, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And I, me and Aida. Okay. Okay. And the mm -hmm. present simple in the future, dijo. Yeah, what's the, di uh, when can I use the present simple for future and the present continue for future? Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. In the present si simple for future, uh, I remember you say is, for example, use the, um, the same press the, the same tense, mm -hmm. but using the expression for the future. And for the structure in the present continuous mm -hmm. is using the verb B and mm -hmm. the verb plus the verb with ing. Mm -hmm. I I understand only. Okay, yeah, yeah, definitely you were right. So, uh, but besides what Eneida told us, is there anyone else who can add more information? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Neida. Anyone else? Uh, Wilmer, mm -hmm. what about you? So, I understood in the case of present simple, um, you can use these sentences with um, timetables and structures scratchers yeah but in, with present continue just uh, with arrangement and plans okay good yes we use the present simple with schedule or timetables and present continuous with arrangement or um or any any action that is going to be taking place in the future okay thank you oh all right so for um for the activity that we're going to have a warm-up activity right now, I would like to hear from you. We're going to have a debate now. You are going to look at the two pictures and tell which one is better and why. Okay? So you got to provide a reason. Hey, you know what? I think Pepsi is good because of this. Or I think Coca-Cola is good because of this. Okay? So look at this example. What is better, the blue one or the red one? What do you think? For me, the blue one, teacher. Why? I'm fighting because, with Coca-Cola. Oh, okay. <laughs> because the blue one is uh -huh. um less than <laughs> no less dangerous. Sweeter than. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Less. Okay. For me, but I know. Ah, okay, okay, good. So we're gonna do, uh, we have another pictures over there. I mean, in the next slides. And then you're going to tell me what, what, it, what is better. Okay, what is better? An Android, a Galaxy or an iPhone? And tell me why. Anyone? Uh, Galaxy, it's better. Okay, why? Because if you take a photo with the uh, iPhone, the battery is is out. <laughs> okay. What, what 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 else do you think? What about the other ones? Que piensan los demás? Let me see. Mm -hmm. 
galaxies by our attention. Okay. How about you, Osman? What do you think, Osman? I think so it's galaxy. Okay. Because I have a galaxy <laughs> and I don't I can't use the the iPhone. Yeah. It's okay. more difficult for me. Oh, okay. Thank you, Osman. Uh, how okay. about you, Barca? What do you think, Barca? And the tools of Android are better. Okay. Uh, I think you are making a comparison between uh, iPhone and Galaxy. Right, right, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I prefer Galaxy, so you can install all kind of apps. Mm -hmm. And I guess uh, I'm a writer. Okay. Take a, a beautiful picture. However, iPhone. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, Abarca. Thank you so much. Okay, how about this one? Hot coffee or cold coffee? What do you think? Two. The two? Hot coffee. For me, yes, because I like cold and hot. Okay, why, why? So, but go for one, choose one, only one. Not two, not both, but only one. The hot coffee is better the, but the, with, with lemon. Oh, hot coffee with lemon? It mm -hmm. depends. It depends? Also? Yeah, because in the morning, I can. I like hot. Oh, interesting. So in the morning, hot coffee, and then at noon or after For noon? me, the, the best yeah. is a hot coffee. Hot because coffee. when I when I feel cold, mm -hmm. it's for me better the hot coffee. And mm -hmm. what about when you feel hot? And um, it's better <laughs> the cold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Next. Cold is oh, okay. How about this one? A bike or a car? What do you think? What is better? Car, obviously. Okay, car. Uh huh. It depends your needs. Okay, depends on your needs. Good, good. Yeah, answer. because not, if you it's want, not, it's not depend you need. If you, 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 if you, you need, you need the car you or you not, I prefer the car. <laughs> okay. All right. No, no. Thank you. Thank you. The bike. The bike. It depends yes. if you go long distances. I don't recommend you the bike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Yes. Okay. But Next. For doing exercise, oh. is, is better the bike. Okay, good. Next. Which one is better, Wendy's or Burger King? What do you think? Both um, are like. No. Uh, but, but, the only one. Burger King. Burger. All right. Yeah. For Wendy. Which one is cheaper? Which one is cheaper? Wendy. Uh, Ah, Wendy's is true. Which one is more delicious? Mm -hmm. Wendy. More Burger delicious? King. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now I I see that I, I have um, I have a discussion. Because, Somebody, uh -huh. because in the picture, the Burger King have a lot of vegetables. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that's not true, or it is true in reality. Today uh -huh. we have uh -huh. Today we were talking about this this goal because in Burger King uh, is just the, the picture, but oh. when they give you the 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 product, the hamburger mm -hmm. is different. Okay. It's, it's, ah, it's like, interesting. It's, 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 uh, me too. I want some. Mm -hmm. And I want some. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, and the next, let me see. I have another one, I guess. Okay, which one do you prefer? Mm. The mountains or the beach? What do you think? Yeah, we have a big travel. Okay, go, go, and choose one. Okay, choose one. Beach. Okay, Joanna, welcome. We we're missing you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. For the mountain. The mountains? Just for me. Okay, and Ada because says the mountains the are better. And Ada says the mountains. The air is more pure. Oh, the air, it's more pure. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Okay. But the beach is the same. What about the beach? Mm. What about it's the beach? possible in the beach? Uh, the the people visit um, more the beach, and there are a lot of people in the beach, and in compare for the mountain, um, there are less than people. Oh yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, who who think the beach is better than the mountains? Who? Okay. Me. Okay, Marta. Who else? Uh, let me see in the chat. In the chat. Oh, good evening, Reina Triguero. Good evening. And Borja. What about the mountain? Who think the mountain is better than the beach? Let me see. Who? Nobody? Nobody? Okay. Okay, uh, we were doing that and okay, how about this one? Which one do you prefer to go? Machu Picchu or uh, the Eiffel Tower? Machu Picchu. Oh, okay, I have some, the Eiffel Tower, <laughs> okay. Well, um, uh, curious day um, in the, in the what? Eiffel, what? What? Mm -hmm. in the Eiffel, there are, rats a okay. lot of rats around this this tower okay who else okay thank you we have for your opinion all right who else uh borja says machu picchu some neda said um the evil tower how about no, the other one machu picchu. oh machu picchu <laughs> too. it's a long trip machu picchu too. it's a long trip uh going okay from, um, from the capital of Peru to Machu Picchu is maybe two hours. Yes. I guess it's a, it's a, it takes more like because you gotta go to Aguas Caliente. So you gotta go to uh, to Lima and then from Lima to um, to the capital. What's the capital? Um, what is it? Let me see. What is the capital before uh, before? If you wanna go to Machu Picchu, you need to to get to the place. Um, what's the name? I forgot the name of the capital city. Well, not not Lima, the other place. So you you take a flight from Lima to make it to the place in that place to go to Machu Picchu. I forgot the name of that place. All right, good. Okay, and the okay. So today we are going to continue talking about how to express future tenses. You probably you are not going to learn anything new today. But what we're going to be doing is we are going to uh, review, review the future tenses, okay? If you see here, I had the four future, I mean, the four different tenses that we can use to express the future, all right? The first one, look at the first one. The first one we use will, when do we use will? We use will to predict or for predictions and forecast. For example, he will he will probably come back tomorrow. It will rain tomorrow. And also we use will for spontaneous decision. Wait, and also when we are offering help, okay? When we offer help. And also when we provide or we promise something, I will not watch TV tonight, okay? So that, that's when we use will. How about going to? Necesito un voluntario que me lea lo de going to. ¿Quién me quiere leer lo de going to? Who can help me? A volunteer? Joana, thank you. Okay, Borja, okay. Borja, okay. you read the present you, continue. Borja, you read the present continue and Joana reads uh, the going to, okay? Okay, okay, uh, going to. Intention. We are going to spend the summer abroad. Previously made decision. We are going to leave, but we don't know them. Something that, that is likely to happen. Uh, like it to happen. Likely to happen. It's cloudy. It's going. Okay. okay. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you, Joanna. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. okay, when do we use going to? We use going to when we have intentions. Look, 
we are going to spend the summer abroad. Also, we use going to when we already have, uh, we previously made a decision, we have a plan. We have something arranged, okay? We are going to leave, but we don't know when. So you have a decision, but you are not very sure when you're gonna do that. And then something that is likely to happen that probably if you see that it's cloudy, you say, oh, it's going to rain, right? Because you have evidence. Remember yesterday, we saw that when you have evidence, you say, for example, uh, you say you use the going to. Okay, um, Wilmer, present continuous. Present continuous arrangement and plans. I'm visiting my grandparents tomorrow. What are you doing next Saturday? I'm going to Mary's party. <laughs> okay, good. Yesterday, I explained to you that if you do not include a time expression, the sentence can be confusing, remember? All right? The sentence can be taking us if the sentence is taking place right now. For example, hey, where are you, Carlos? I'm visiting my grandparents. Oh, that means that you are on, on the way to where your parents, I mean, grandparents live, all right? Look this one. What are you doing next Saturday? See, you need to have a time expression, future time expression to use the present continuous, okay? Especially if you wanna use it for the future, okay? Okay, uh, Eneida, uh, timetable. Can you read the one, the present simple for me, Eneida? Uh -huh, okay, teacher. Timetable, schedule, re, repeated events. The plane take off at 3 a.m. We have an English test next week. It's Easter next month. When does the concert begin? Okay, good, thank you. All right, if you see here, remember yesterday we were uh, talking that we use the present simple for future meaning when we have what with timetable, remember? Remember? Timetable, right? Also when we have a schedule, okay? Or repeated action like my birthday, it's tomorrow. Next week, it's Christmas, for example. Look at this example. The plane, aquí el verbo está en qué? En qué tiempo está? En presente, right? Takes. Mm -hmm. So the plane takes off at 3 a.m. ¿Sí? Lo que está haciendo futuro esta oración es esta. Este numerito, ¿ok? 3 a.m. ¿Ok? Posiblemente usted cuando está diciendo la oración son las 10 de la noche cuando usted lo dice. Hey, you know what? The plane takes off at 3 a.m. Lo está haciendo futuro. All right? Mm -hmm. Look at the other one. We have an English test next week. Si ven, el verbo está en presente, right? The verb is in simple present, okay? Look at the other one. It's Easter next month. Time expression. El verbo presente, ¿sí? It's Easter next month. When does the concert begin? Auxiliary verb, that's for simple present. Remember? Tercera persona, ¿verdad? Okay. All right. Está claro eso. Está claro? Están los cuatro. Yes, okay. The, we had the four different uh, sentences to express uh, the future. Okay. Next. Let me see. I'll go next. This is another chart that we have, just in case the previous one was not clear enough. So uh, remember, we'll, we use it for, with prediction. Also, uh, when you take in a sudden decision, hey, I'm hungry, I'll make a sandwich. Also, when you offer any help, offerings. Uh, will you have something to drink? No, thanks, I won't have. Also, yesterday we talked that one significa que significa want I will not will not okay will not 
but that is informal. You can use it, but that is, that is informal. Okay, the other one. The other one is that we can use be going to. ¿Cuándo utilizamos be going to? We use be going to with uh, when we have a plan, you have an intention. Also, you have an evident, evident prediction. Something we know. Look at the example. We are going to have a baby in two months. Posiblemente está en el mes séptimo. Y usted dice, oh, en dos meses vamos a tener un bebé. ¿Sí? So that is a, a, an evident prediction. Something that we know. Okay. ¿Cuándo utilizamos el present continuous? Aquí está. Cuando tenemos un plan ya arreglado, decimos, un convenio. Arrangement, planned action at a specific time. Your intention or plan has been arranged. I'm meeting my friends at seven. We are having a birthday party. I would say that que aquí yo necesito algo yeah. más. Necesito una time expression. Porque si no, así, imagine somebody's calling you. Hey, Wilmer, where are you? And then usted le dice, hey, Carlos, we are having a birthday party. Oh, entonces la persona que está hablando will assume that you are in a birthday party right now. But if you say, hey, hey, Wilmer, where are you? We are having a birthday party tonight. Oh, that means that the birthday party is not right now, but it could be later. Okay. Estamos claro ahí? Claro, claro. Como el chocolate. Is that clear? <laughs> okay. Is that clear? Okay. Good. Thank you. All right. So let's go with the um, simple present. When do we use the simple present? We use the uh, we use the present simple or simple present future. for future mm -hmm. events. At a specific time, in other words, a timetable or a schedule. Okay, just keep in mind that if you have a timetable or if you have a, a schedule, you can use the present simple. Okay, uh, the plane takes land at 11:40. We leave to Edinburgh at nine. See, ya está definido que a las nueve sale el tren. So, a las nueve o a las diez. Okay, good. Okay, I need your help. I need your help with that. Who can help me? Walter. Okay, is Walter here? Walter? <laughs> yes, teacher, I'm late. Yeah, welcome. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you were super mega hyper late. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, that's okay, that's okay. I thought you were not here, but it's good to see you here. Okay. Ok, listen, let me tell you this. En todas estas oraciones que ven, pueden aplicar los cuatro tipos de formas como pueden decir el futuro. Ok, no solamente el going to, no solamente el will, no solamente el present continuous, no solamente el simple present. Tienen que leer carefully so that you can decide which one you can apply. For example, the number one. ¿Cuál cree que? ¿Cuál tiempo será que puedo utilizar ahí? ¿Será que puedo utilizar el going to? Present? ¿Será que puedo utilizar el going real? Present. Going el present continuous? ¿O el simple present? Simple present. Simple present. Good. Simple present future. Trying to arrive. Going to. Arrive. Going to. At 12.30. At 12 Good. Okay, number two. Look. Number two. I will. Mm -hmm. I'm going to. Well, and that one you going can to. use going we to. We will. Because you have, a, it could be, a, you have an, a, an arrangement, remember? Also, you can use going to. Okay, algo que sí me le gustaría que, que, que eso quede bien claro. Es que, oiga, teacher, entonces yo utilizo, por ejemplo, en el número uno, por ejemplo, teacher, si yo utilizo will, ¿será que está malo? O teacher, ¿será que si uso going to va a estar malo? No. Okay. Remember that in English, there is formal English and informal English. There, are a, there is a kind of English that is used only for speaking, but not for writing. Okay. No matter how you say it, it's, it's all right. Okay. But the, the, the correct way would be the ones that we are practicing today. Okay. Uh, number two. So, for example, number two, esa puede ser uh, what? Will. Will. Will, are you sure? 
I think because um, there are a place, but no time. Uh, there are a plan, teacher. There, there is, is a plan. plan. You have yeah. a, plan. a plan, but not yes. specific too. with our. Okay. Look, okay, in that case, you can use the present continuous because you have a planned action at a specific time. Or it could be also be going to. Yeah. Okay. Pueden ser los dos, okay? So, for example, could be we are going to have dinner at Seaside Restaurant on Saturday and Sunday, I'm sorry, or we are we are having dinner at Seaside Restaurant on Sunday. Okay. But in this case, but in this case I think it's, it's my way to think. Mm -hmm. um, for example, we are we are going to have a dinner in this restaurant on Sunday. It's, it's not a plan because there is no water. An hour, please. Sorry, oh, okay. hour. Yeah. It's different, say, for example, we are going to have dinner at the seaside restaurant on Sunday at um, 12 said, yeah. o'clock. It sorry. could be that. It could be that. But remember, one more time, as I'm saying, it's not that you are not correct, right? It's not that you are wrong. That's supposedly like the way that it should be, but it's understandable. Uh, if you say it like, hey, it, I'm going to or will, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. All right? Okay. Vamos a ver la número tres. Okay, give me a chance. Okay, give me a chance. Huh? Okay, give me a chance. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I'm looking for something. Okay, let me see. All right, let me see. I'm looking for something here. Okay, um, so I'm going to read the question. I mean, the sentence, and then you need to tell me what is it. Uh, let me see. I'm going to share my screen. Give me a second right now. Wait, give me a second. I'm looking for something that, that I need right now. Let me see. Okay, give me a second. Okay, let me see what is it, what is it, what is it, okay, let's see. Carlos Jose want to say something. Yes, go ahead. Who? You're waiting the sentences. Okay, wait. Here it is, what is it, here it is, okay, here it is. Okay, so number, number three, what is it, number three? It's Gwil. It's go no snow in Brinton it, tomorrow. Really? Yeah, it's a prediction. It's a prediction. Yes, it could be it will or it's going to. Remember? Oh, remember that yesterday we saw that one, the prediction. We can use going to and will for both. Yeah. You remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah, will yeah. And for prediction. Okay, good. That's good. Uh, number four. On Friday at eight o'clock. Ajá, uh -huh. ¿qué piensan de ese? On Friday. Friday uh -huh. Ajá. Um, present simple. Yeah. Present continuous. I meant. So that would be what? Present continuous? No, simple no. present. Simple present. Simple present? Yeah. Simple. Yeah. Okay, simple present? Yeah. Okay, right. when we have, is that a timetable? What do you think? Is that a timetable? Yes, 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 yes. Arrangement plans. Uh -huh. I guess it's an arrangement and plans. Good. So that would be present continuous. Mm -hmm. The present continuous yes. because I have a plan and it's a very arranged. Remember, when do we Arrange. use present simple? When well, the name was on timetable. Okay, on timetable, especially at time. See? Timetable, like especially bus timetable, time airplane timetable, uh, train timetables. Okay. All right. Good. Next. Number five. Paul. Paul to London on Monday morning. What do you think? Going to. Going to. Going to. Okay. It can yes, be so the, that will be if present continuous or going to. Yeah. 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 It can be both. Remember that in this case, uh, there are going to be some sentences that, that can, they can be used with different tenses, not only with one. Okay. Number six. 
Wait. I wait. Mm -hmm. Number six. Will. Present. Will. Will. Remember, yeah. look. Well, está en el momento, en el momentito will. que está hablando. Wait. Lo está diciendo en el momentito. Yeah. ¿Qué pasa? So definitely yeah. that would be will. Remember? Yeah. When you say something at the moment of speaking, you say something immediately. Okay? Inmediatamente. Okay. Number seven. No, simple present. Starts. Okay, number seven. The English lesson starts. Good, simple present. Yeah, starts at 8.45. And the number eight. Mm -hmm. Number eight. Are you still writing your essay? If you finish simple present. Simple present, yes. If you finish by 4 p.m., we can go for a walk. Okay, so we're going to play a game right now. Let me see if I can do that. Yes, I guess I can do that. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yes, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you see my screen? Can you see my screen? What do you see my screen? Only your exercise. Ah, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Here it is. Okay, we're gonna have, uh, we're going to ask and answer some questions. So that's why I, what about now? Can you see a wheel? Yeah. Okay, good. So I have questions in here and I'm going to spin it. And then the question, you are going to either complete it or you're going to be asking, etc. All right, let's see. Okay. What will schools be like in the year 2030? ¿Cómo serán las escuelas en el año 2030? Mm -hmm. What will school be like in the, in the year? Online. Online. So tell me a complete sentence. Vamos, utilicen el chat, por favor, y, y denme oraciones completas. Okay, complete sentences. What will school be like in the year 2030? In in 2030, the schools be like uh, the the teachers only use the technology. Technology classes will be online only will online. On. Mm -hmm. If you remember a couple of years ago, this wouldn't be possible. Hace dos tres años esto no sería posible. No. Because we, because we were like, no, no, I don't learn. No, 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 no. You know? Hey, do you remember a cartoon? Which one? Called Jackson. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, you, do you remember they appear with, um, they go to the dentist in front of a, a display. I mean, <laughs> everything was through online. Aha, uh -huh. and this definitely that's yeah. what is happening today, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. So I, I can read in the chat and then people say it will be online all the time. The school in the future will be online. Okay. Uh, the schools in the year 2030 will be online. Okay, good. Okay, let's move it. Okay, let's go. Next. Let's see. Let's see what we have. Okay, answer to me that question. What are you going to study next year? What are you going to study next year? Voluntarios, ¿quién quiere responder esa pregunta? Me. Okay, go ahead. Yes, yes. Well, in my case, I want to finish my English studies because I want to learn how to speak English mm -hmm. with no mistake. Mm -hmm. And I want to communicate with other people in English oh. right? because now English is very important if you want to get a, a good job or if you want to improve your income now I mean it doesn't matter if you are going to work in a call center mm -hmm. or if you are going to work in different companies mm -hmm. because I have seen some companies 
they are asking that someone who speak in English. Oh. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's why for me English is very important. I okay. I prefer. I mean, my suggestion is from first grade you have to learn English because oh. it's very important. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, Eric, for your participation. Okay, we're gonna eliminate that one, and we're going to spin it one more time. Okay, let's see the next question. Okay, okay, uh, who can answer that? What are you going to do after the lesson today? What are you going to do? Tell me, I need volunteers or one volunteer. I will, I will try to put in practice all my, all the, the, the knowledge about the before le uh, lesson before mm -hmm. every day. Oh, okay, good. That's good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Walter. Thank you so much. Okay. So I'm going to eliminate that one and uh, let's spin it. Let's say, let's spin it. Okay. Let's see what we have. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Where are you going to go on your next holiday? Let me ask. Vamos a ver a quién tenemos acá. Un voluntario. Okay. Um, Joanna Celina. Marta Llega. Where are you going to go on your on your next holiday? Where are you going to go? I um, travel. Uh, I travel in the Pital, the Pital, uh, Cerro Pital, okay. and uh, uh, go go to the beach. Okay, good. That's a plan. That's a beautiful plan. Okay, thank you. All right, the last one. Okay. I will swim in the sea. Mm -hmm. Can you complete that? What is missing over there? I will swim in the sea. ¿Cómo completaríamos esa oración? Falta algo al principio. I will swim in the sea. What do you need? What is missing over there? ¿Qué le hace falta eso? The first oh. part, Frank. Yes, the first part. That would be what? Okay, teacher. Uh -huh. if, I, if I have vacations, I will swim in the sea. It could be if I have With vacation. Conditional... If I have if I have a vacation, or for example, you can say next Monday or next mm -hmm. uh, or tomorrow I will swim in the sea. We need a time expression, all right? Especially okay. to express future actions. Okay, but thank you, Anita. Okay. All right, so let me see what we're gonna do right now because of the time we have uh, 16 minutes to go. 16 minutos para que terminemos la clase. Therefore, tenemos que hacer algo ahorita. Okay, right now. Remember, we are reviewing. Entendemos en inglés, ya nos vamos para quedar bueno, graduado. Todo. Graduado. Wilmer, Wilmer, <laughs> wait, Wilmer. Mm -hmm. I heard. Yay. Pamela, are you here? No, Pamela no, is not here. No, what happened, Pamela? Pamela. Oh, Marta, I yeah. What happened? I don't know. I, I suppose know. she is sick. Okay, okay. That's fine. Okay, what are we going to do today? I'm going to, we're going to have a, mm -hmm. vamos a ver cuánto sabemos ahorita. We are two people. Sí. Vamos a tener tres grupos. We're going to have, we're going to do a role play. We are going to prepare a short dialogue, okay? About your plans for tomorrow. Aquí hay dos escenarios. Uno es, you're going to make a conversation about what? About either a, your plans, talking about your plan for tomorrow or the future in the world. ¿Cómo creen que va a ser el futuro? So, van a describir, por ejemplo, la comida, los lugares, cars, uh, everything, ok tienen dos escenarios, uno es el escenario que vaya hablando del plan para mañana 
o el otro es el futuro del mundo. Ok, por ejemplo, you can say, oh, people will go to Mars. For example, right? Yeah. Or, or people uh, are planning to, in the future, people are planning to go to the moon. Ok, something like that. All right. Van a hacer una pequeña conversación. So that cuatro, las cuatro personas tienen que, cuatro o tres personas tienen que hablar y decir algo, una conversación. Where you are going to use the cualquier tense in future. Ok. ¿Estamos claros? Yes. Yes. Ok. Vamos a hacer los grupos ahorita, right now. What's that? Today I wanted to appear and I went to the store and I found out to the beer already cost two dollars. Whoa, one that's expensive. beer. Okay, that's but I expensive. prefer to buy sweet beer. <laughs> okay, so vamos a, a small breakout rooms and you are going to create a conversation. Okay, and then later, van a tener tres minutos exactamente. Okay, tres minutos. A máximo cuatro minutos para ver. Te pueden, oh, you know what? We're going to talk about this and then I'm going to ask you and then you ask me and then, so, you know. Tienen dos escenarios. El primer escenario es plans for tomorrow. Ese puede ser un escenario. El segundo escenario es the future of the world. Escojan un escenario nada más. Okay, choose one, one scenario. Okay. I'll see you in the small breakout rooms. The, the two topics. So I don't know what happened in the at the future. In the but, future, it's a nice, nice topic. Yeah. Yeah, but That's I will. What are you I, thinking about the, the the war in the future? I will go to travel um on for Colombia in on October. October. Do you want to uh, go with me? <laughs> Who? <laughs> In, on October. <laughs> um, October 1st. Yeah, yeah. I get yeah. It. <laughs> and if you want, uh, you can go. Okay. And you and Ada, what did you plan for tomorrow or the future? Uh, tomorrow, nothing, only <laughs> I am working all day <laughs> and you in my case okay tell me what do you think about how is going to be the world in the future uh, my work is uh, actually um, the my, okay my um, my working is um, uh, the assistant assistant of project or assistant. Uh, this is a, a, a work very, very, very nice. It's a different activity, um, supervision, uh, um, report, uh, the, 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 the months, um, um, very difficult. It's very early. Yes, it's very early. Okay, in your case, Maria, your plans for tomorrow? I wake up at 5.30 am and working. Okay, okay. <laughs> It's good. In my plans to also. Well, in, in, in this case, I want to, to spur some information with you. Um, I was studying um, el, el many a much. Mm -hmm. um, there is a video on YouTube from a gringo man. He said, um, that's that's goal is easy. For example, uh, much is cuanto cuanta. How much? 
Yeah, no, uh -huh. March, 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 one to okay, one. Only the March, but uh, you need no, no, to no, no, have no. March. March, March. March means much mean quanto quanta. Yeah, depends. It many, many means quantos or quanta. Yeah, depends. Is countable or not countable? Yeah. Nouns. Okay, welcome, welcome back. How was your conversation, Eneida? What did you say, teacher? How was your conversation with your classmates? Uh, I remember Borja says the, I don't know, um, remember Walter? Walter, 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 yes. That, uh -huh, uh, he will be travel to the United States for the um, uh, in Syria. I don't remember for the improve your English. Oh, and really? Talk yeah. with your family in the United States. Talk to his family, right? His talk family, okay, his, his family. family. His oh, family, yes. Nice, yes. nice, nice. So how are you, Marta? How was your conversation in the group? It's awesome. Okay. In the for the Maria Korea, uh -huh. the future uh, is uh, like a cartoon. Uh -huh. Supersonicos. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Or maybe yes. they will be like well. I heard that cars in the future are going to be flying cars. Imagine cars flying. Hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about uh, Cristobal Molina? More crash. Yeah. Or maybe less crashes on the air. Mm -hmm. Cristobal, what do you talk in the group? Mm -hmm. Hello, teacher. Hello. What do you talk uh, in the group? Um, I suppose we got confused because... Um, my classmate was talking about the jobs. Mm, the jobs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 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 What about you? What do you talk in the group? You. Mm -hmm. Me, I didn't uh, I didn't have enough time in order to speak. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, good. So you have time right now. So tell us <laughs> what I, what are you doing tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow uh, I'm going to work like all of you, mm -hmm. uh, and also I will I will play soccer. Mm -hmm. At what time? At what time are you playing soccer tomorrow? At five p.m. Are you good at playing soccer tomorrow? Mm, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What else? What else? Mm -hmm. uh, also, um, I am going to visit um, my mother uh, in tonight. Um, at night, at night, at night, yeah, at night. Sorry, mm -hmm. um, also, um, I would like to to eat um, pizza. Ah, from night. where? From where? Uh, from whatever place. I just want to eat pizza. <laughs> okay, maybe from Pizza Hut, maybe from Papa John's. Mm -hmm. mm, probably Pizza. Okay, okay, good. All right, so thank you. Um, let me see. I'm going to uh, conclude today's lesson with the following. Okay, let me see. Okay, so what do you learn this week? What do you learn? What do you learn during this module? Because we are wrapping up uh, the entire module. What do you learn during this module? Mm -hmm. What do you learn during this module? Well, we learned many things. Mm -hmm. How to make comparison. And something that I liked a lot was uh, make a comparison using us. Mm -hmm. Because I had never seen uh, that comparison. Or oh. make a comparison mm -hmm. using that. 
as it was and, uh, very yeah. interesting. It mm -hmm. was very interesting for me. Oh, it, it was something that I liked, I liked a lot. And Thank you. Later we learn, uh, will is going to, and when we have to use will and when we have to use going to. Okay. I, I mean, the entire model was interesting, and I liked a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Eric. Someone else? Mm -hmm. um, I learned to 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 countable and not countable nouns. Apply in applying com, uh, comparison. Comparisons, yes. Houses, mm -hmm. Comparison house or an apartment. That, mm -hmm. An apartment, yeah. Yes, and yes. I and I learned to use a simple uh, present perfect. Present perfect. We have has and since and, and for. Yeah, and the last part uh, is uh, learn about the different way to talk in the future. Mm, present, okay. present. Good, 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 good. Well, and going to, yeah. Nice, very nice. Some someone else. Please send the the PPT because I'm going to make a summary in my notebook. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, nice tie, by the way. Nice tie. Mm -hmm. Eric, nice tie. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, who else? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Okay, go, go ahead, Cristobal. Mm -hmm. um, during this, this, uh, this month, I learned how to use, uh, for example, comparison, how to use the simple past, mm -hmm. the past perfect, um, simple present, present continuous, and the differences between the use of will and going to. Oh, good, good, thank you. One more participation to wrap up. Mm -hmm. One more, only one more. Un voluntario que no tenga miedo. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carlos, good, Carlos. Okay, Carlos. Okay, Carlos. Um, so yes, you were saying, mm, Carlos. <laughs> Carlos, today is the last time. Mm -hmm. Carlos, are you there, Carlos? Okay, apparently he's not over there. All right. Okay, but that's fine. Okay, so um. I want to say thank you, everyone. Thank you for um, for having been during this month. And hopefully I'm going to see you like in two weeks, I guess. Yeah, two weeks. So please do not stop learning. And if you have any questions, you can review the videos recording on YouTube or you can text in the chat and then I can send you the PowerPoint presentation if you need them. So otherwise, if you want to continue practice, uh, to practice by yourself, just let me know, and then I'm going to send you the information. Mm -hmm. The last right. presentation could be you send you I, by. Just let me know. Just send me a text. Hey, Mister, or oh, hey, Teacher, I need a PowerPoint presentation, and then I kindly okay. I will send it to you. All right. Okay. So thank okay. you so much. I hope to see you around. So anything, we're gonna be in touch. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. So bye bye bye. Thank you for everything. Thank you. It was great to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank 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 you.